Grand Prix lessons for your dad? Priceless. He's not here yet. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another NC Miata video. You guys know Saturdays are for the NC Miata and today we are doing something specifically to help with the cooling on the 2.5 engine. You've seen in the past video where we installed these singular hood vents. This was before I got the 2.5 and I really did it for cosmetics and to help with cooling a little bit in the grand scheme of things, but it was mainly cosmetic. Now when you're stopped at stoplights after driving, you can see the heat waves coming through the hood vents. So it's certainly letting heat escape from under the hood. Now on the 2.5 in this setup, basically, we have a CSF radiator, which is for sure helping things cool down even more. We also have this AEM intake, which opens up a lot of space right here from where the old air box used to be. And right down here, you've seen that I've added this little ECU cover. And this has worked great for when I was daily in the car, any water that would get in here would not directly contact the ECU. So it was really nice. And I have said previously that this modification that we're doing today, I didn't want to do because it moved the ECU sideways. And I was worried that water would come through the hood vents and fall directly onto the ECU connectors. We also relocated our washer fluid bottle to the back using the track dog racing bracket but I'm really not daily driving this car anymore. I'm certainly not going to be driving it in the rain anytime soon. So I went ahead and picked up something from Track Dog Racing here in Dallas. It's their NC ECU relocation kit with the bracket and everything. So let me show you what it is. So this is the bracket right here. As you saw in the engine bay, we already have the Track Dog Racing washer fluid bottle relocation kit. This is all part of their super cool kit. I didn't want everything. Um, I think I'm probably gonna look into their battery relocation kit in the future. It's definitely something that I want to do, but for right now, I just wanted to get the ECU kit. It is this really nice powder coated with all of the threaded holes and everything for the ECU. It also comes with a set of, looks like zinc plated bolts, which are really nice, some zip ties, the air ducting for the ECU, and of course, instructions. Their instructions are always really, really good really well thought out the photos are really good so we're going to be following these today and we're going to go ahead and get started installing this i'm going to get the air intake out and i'm going to get the uh, old ecu cover that i made out and then we can start installing this so let's get going all right our intake piping and ecu covers out if anyone wants this ecu cover uh go ahead and send me a message on instagram at colored and light i'll sell it for pretty cheap um might not be worth shipping, but if you're in the Dallas area and you have a colder intake and you want this, it's all yours. I'll uh, hand it off to you. Next thing we need to do is take off the ECU from its mounts and we need to get this coolant hose out of the way. And then there's four 10 millimeter nuts that go around the edge. And what we're going to do essentially is we're going to be taking the whole ECU and just flipping it up right here. So this should definitely open up a ton more space in this area right here. As you can see, I already took off the little plastic cover and uh, that's something that you would do if you were doing this. We'll just keep following the instructions of Track Dog Racing and get this thing installed.
here is the finished install. We got our intake tube back on and I have to say it's a really, really tight fit, but it works. So I've got these wires secured here. I had to adjust the tube a little bit um, compared to what I used to have it. So it wouldn't like interact with the wires here, um, but nothing's really rubbing. This is all tightened down and shouldn't be going anywhere. And you can see right here, we've also got our little tube that comes from the side of the radiator up into the ECU. So it should provide some cooling still. Um, and I went ahead and zip tied this wiring harness down here just so it doesn't wiggle anywhere. But overall, I have to say this is a really nice little piece of kit. Um, the install and directions were well thought out. Um, it was a little annoying just fitting everything, but you can get it done at home pretty easily. And you can see right here, we've opened up quite a bit of space in this half of the engine bay. So next thing that we really need to do now is do the battery relocation and get that moved over to where the washing uh, fluid bottle was. And then we'll have tons of space up here for cooling. But that is going to be for a later date. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this little install and I'm really excited to see if the temperature or engine temperature drops at all. So I'll be monitoring that with the EcuTech and we'll see if it works. It should be fine, it's gonna help regardless. Custom things are really nice to do and they're fun to make, but when you can get a kit and just have it be a seamless install, it's always well worth it. So if you like this video, be sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, and I will see you in the next video.